today. <laughs> Today's an exciting day. We're starting to work on the part of the bus that I'm most excited about. It's not even the interior of our bus. It is the roof deck. We are on our way to pick up the bus now and then we're gonna take the bus to the hardware store and get our supplies. Are you excited about this weekend? I'm very excited about this weekend. I'm gonna cut some big holes in the roof. I'm gonna hopefully fix some big holes in the roof. I'm gonna stick a lot of weight on the roof. I love our roof. <laughs> Here's our wood for the roof deck. We are using pressure treated lumber. Um, in our research we found that's what's best. This is my first time building a deck so we're just going off of what the internet says. Uh, the issue though with pressure treated lumber is that when you buy it, it is still wet from the treatment. Um, which means we can build our deck but we have to wait a week for this lumber to dry before we can stain the deck. So I don't know why the people who sell pressure treated lumber don't just let, her, let it dry before selling it to you. That seems like the nice thing to do but it's alright. We've got more than enough time to let it sit and dry so that's what we'll do. Alright we're ready to get started on the roof deck. We are more or less following Aren't We There Yet's guide online of how they did it. We don't want to use any welding because neither of us know how so we're using this board down the middle that'll hold a lot of it and we'll have four by four posts along the side to hold everything up so wooden deck here we go. While Emily measures out the first board I just thought I would say I don't know how many times we've vaguely referenced or thanked Harry Potter while we're building but that's because we use pretty much exclusively this Harry Potter pencil for all of our measurements, so a little bit of magic goes a long way, my friends. <laughs> all right, we've traced down the middle where our center board is gonna go. Now we're just gonna drill holes through the bus where the carriage bolts will go through, and then we can mark through those holes on the plank where to drill, and so everything should be nice and lined up. And then we'll just need to put some silicone in between everything so we don't have leaks, put our bolt down through, We'll put a washer and a lock washer and a nut on the bottom inside the bus. Lock that up tight and hopefully it'll never move. Woo! There's a hole in the roof. So we're drilling a little recess hole in the center beam so that when the carriage bolt is pushed through, it sits flush so that our deck boards won't stick up at all. That looks pretty good. Holes are drilled in both the board and the roof. Now I'm just putting a whole bunch of silicone in between so the board will sit and hopefully there's a nice seal there. And then I'll apply some on the top side of the board that the carriage bolt will go into and then we'll apply some underneath, underneath the washer. We love silicone. Lots of redundancies. Less leaks. For less leaks. Up close of what it looks like. So we've got the washer, the lock washer, and then the nut all surrounded by our silicone. <laughs> Alright, I'm sitting on our center beam that we just bolted down. We are now taking 4x4 four four posts and using the angle of the roof of the bus, we're kind of lining these posts up we, where we're going to put them, tracing that angle, and then cutting the angle so that 
the post will sit flush with the roof of the bus. And we're gonna have eight of these and we're going to have them sitting on the ribs of the bus because that is where the bus is the strongest, where our roof is the strongest. So that's where we want our weight to be distributed. Here's two rivety clones. Oh, perfect. Now I can use them as an example. This is what they look like. Yeah, so on the back ones, there's rivets in the way, but on most of them, we're gonna put brackets on both sides, this side, and on this side. We'll run a bolt the whole way through to link the brackets through the post, and then there will be bolts that go through the bus, which we'll put nuts on on the inside, kind of like we did for the center post. Yep, so right now we're just lining up these posts and making sure everything is level. Drill and post, drill and post, drill and holes and post, drill and post, 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 holes. Woo! <laughs> Show off your post hole, Gavin. Post hole. That's so cute. Looks like a little bee hole. Oh my gosh, what if we get carpenter bees in our deck? And we will pop them like juju bees and have a nice little snack. No! We'll just drive really fast and they'll blow away. Just like our roof deck. It'll be fun. We'll name them and we'll be friends and it'll be great. Our dinner has arrived, so we're gonna stop now. We've got the four corner posts uh, ready to bolt down, and after that, it's pretty much just installing deck boards, so. Yeah, the hard part's done. We have the outline of everything we wanna do. We're feeling pretty good about it. Time to go eat some noodles, and we'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. We're just siliconing around the holes for the post bolts. Um, we obviously want to silicone as much as possible for any holes in our roof. This will just create that really good seal. Uh, so I just did those and now we're going to put the bolts through. And then once she has silicone on that side and the bolts come through, I'll put a bunch of silicone around the hole on the inside. And just like with our bolts over here, we should have a nice, hopefully watertight seal. Okay, we're ready to attach our joists and we wanna make sure they're long enough, so we're gonna kind of stage the deck out here and see exactly how many boards. We're thinking it'll be 17 wide, so we're gonna put 17 boards on it and probably end up cutting a few inches off the back, so. Let's build a deck, but down here. With our joists screwed into the four main posts, we're now just putting the other posts against where they need to be, putting a screw in so that they're positioned where they need to be, and then we'll put brackets on them and go through the roof just like we did for the first four. Yep. Okay, so we have finished bolting down the posts for the sides. The two side joists are connected. So the last thing we have to do is trim our deck boards to size and then just screw them in along the joists. So we're, at, we're on easy mode. I am going to just touch up the areas where we kind of scuffed up our tropical paint so that our roof is still protected even underneath our deck. So I'm just gonna do a little cleanup. Gavin's gonna cut the wood and then we'll have a deck. All the sports are ready. Everything that we won't be able to reach once the deck is on is painted and ready for some weather and we're just handing up the boards. We're ready to put them on. Let's finish this deck.
We drove all the way to our storage spot and the deck didn't fall off. Woo! How'd it feel driving? Maybe it's placebo, but it felt a little slow. Well, it looked sturdy. Didn't move a centimeter. Not a shake in sight. Not a shake in sight. We can't not do the outro on the roof today. Woo! We have a roof deck! We are very excited with how this weekend turned out. It pretty much went without a hitch. Yeah, it went super well. <laughs> no complaints, just joy just and a new joy. roof deck. Yay, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up or think about subscribing to our channel. We try to post videos pretty often. Yeah, can't wait to party up here with you guys. Love you, Love bye. You.